No, in, in Bator Montrachet. So I was one of the few, one of the first, I guess, foreigners ever to buy one of the Montrachets. And we bought a little less than half an acre. Uh, and we'll be making, when the vines are back in good, condi in good condition, because we've had a lot of work to get the, the vineyard back into shape, make about three barrels a year, about 75 cases a year for the world. And that's typical. I mean, when you think of us, we're making, I'm making four to 5,000 cases in a good year, um, at least 20, sometimes 25 different wines, one barrel of this, two barrels of this. It's really a um, uh, mixed bag in Burgundy, and that's how it works. I mean, I have, I own in, in, in my domain four hectares of vines, about nine and a half acres. Uh, we're bio, and we, we're being certified bio, AB. You'll see that in our label in the future. Uh, and we also practice biodynamic practices. Um, we produce a little over a third of our own grapes, and the other two-thirds of the grapes we're buying them from small producers up and down the coat. Um, pretty typical. I mean, I, I, I was explaining to someone, um, um, actually a young man came work, a friend of mine's son worked the, heart, worked the summer, and after a day or two he goes, this is crazy here. All these little parcels. We go here and there. There's nothing together. There's no one vineyard. You don't think. And I go, you're a smart boy. Because, I mean, we're about parcels. Of those four hectares, if you count every different vineyard parcel, it's probably 12, 13, 14 different parcels. Now, a lot of them are right next to one another, but think about the management issues and following those, and not, not to mention the harvest issues of following it. I've got a friend, uh, Laurent Pio, Domaine uh, 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 Pio in uh, Chassagne. He has, I think he told me, he has 12 hectares and 50 different parcels from Chassagne just to, just to uh, Pomar. And, I, and I'll see him in the morning on his tractor, and he'll be leaving, and he'll spend all day on the tractor treating, going to those different parcels. That is Burgundy. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a, um, uh, it, 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 you know, it, we don't think of it as, as a, as a uh, hardship because we're used to it, but when I explain it to other winemakers throughout the world, they go, you guys are crazy. And I go, well, that's just the way it is. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a um, parcel small production, per wine and nothing's going to change it. You know, it started with the Napoleonic Code where the families have to give equal amounts of each vineyard, each asset to each child and um, that pretty much continues today. There are ways now to getting around it but um, it's still the, um, that's where we are from that.